Welcome to the video guide of the Flashy Science Hooke's Law experiment. In this experiment, you can add masses to springs of different stiffness and measure their response. On the screen, you'll see a spring, a holder for the masses, a ruler for measuring the position of the mass holder, a collection of 50 gram and 100 gram masses, and a poster through which you can travel the solar system. To measure the position of the empty mass holder, simply click on the ruler to open a zoomed view and you'll see the scale of the ruler in centimetres. To add mass, simply click on the 50 or 100 gram masses and they'll be added to the mass holder, and the spring will extend in response. You can add masses in any combination you wish. And then, to view the new position of the holder, click on the ruler again, and the centimetre scale is shown. You can remove the masses as well by clicking on the mass holder to return each mass in turn to its appropriate box and you can measure the extension of the spring at each point again. Now, once the mass holder is empty, you can change the spring by clicking on it to move to the spring selection screen. The medium stiffness spring is the default spring that the experiment started with, and you can use this again if you wish, or you can choose a spring with low or high stiffness, or a spring with unknown stiffness. I'm going to go back to the medium stiffness, so click it to select it, and then click the green and white confirm button in the top left of the screen. You'll now see it back in place in the main experiment. I mentioned traveling the solar system, so let's go to Mars. Click on Mars and you'll see the mass holder change its position with the lower gravity of Mars. And you can now measure the holder position again and then see how the spring responds to the different weight that the masses now provide in this different environment. So you can explore different parts of the solar system. You can go to Jupiter, to Saturn, to the Moon, to the Sun, to Mars, or return to Earth. The experiment also has additional functionality that you can access via this icon in the top left of the screen. This opens a menu with five more icons. The first icon simply closes the menu again. The second icon returns you to the experiment when you're on a question screen. We'll come to those shortly. The third is the click information icon. Selecting this will highlight all of the areas on the screen that can be clicked to control the experiment. The fourth icon opens up a screen on questions directly related to the experiments you might have just performed. The final icon opens up revision questions that cover the area of Hooke's Law more generally all questions are answered automatically and many contain randomly generated numbers, so you can retake them as many times as you like for practice. We hope you enjoy using the Flashy Science Hooke's Law experiment.